Hey there again. The Blonde BL03, a $30 earphone from late 2019, is the best sounding earphone in the world, regardless of price. And the BL01, despite the numbering, is its successor and even better according to some, whereas others are rather less enthusiastic. So who to believe and how to find the truth in the famously hype filled world of audiophilia? Well, I'm not going to keep you on tenterhooks. My experience was close to the Portify camp good technical resolution and speed, but an unengaging earphone due to its tonality that seriously lacks upper bass and lower mids and its hollow metallic sounding. And that would have been the end of the matter. But given its good technical characteristics, I decided to try Samsung's adapt sound equalization and was quite literally taken aback by how they responded. So did I switch sides? Well, let's take a listen with and without EQ and alongside a very nice sounding sub $30 wireless earphone I've recently reviewed the Orki EPT27. And you may be surprised by what you hear. Stick around for the conclusion to see the method in my apparent madness comparing such disparate quantities. But for now, as usual, put on your best headphones or earphones and take a listen for yourself. Welcome to GI Chow. So what did you hear? There's a lot to unpick and here's my take. Without EQ, the Blonde 01 is like a hundred other cheap Chinese earphones, overly analytical with a detailed sharp treble severely lacking upper bass and lower mids, and overall a fairly unpleasant hollow metallic sound. I was constantly trying to push them further into my ears to bring up the bass and lower mids response. With EQ, the Blonde 01 transforms like the ugly duckling and becomes really very good sounding. So good in fact, I find it hard to nail down and articulate much to complain about. They are still physically heavy, so fall out when lying on your side. But sound wise, they're up there with competition well above their price and approach my almost electrostatic fast Shure tape earphones. Maybe a hint of metallic coloration from the shell a bass impact or slam that's a touch soft for those who prefer a more aggressive presentation, but nothing to write home about. So the big reveal, firstly by applying EQ to Blonde Zero One, we can turn an at best average or even unengaging earphone that has some redeeming fundamental technical qualities into a very good sounding one that some might argue compares against much more expensive offerings. Secondly, some budget wireless earbuds are nearing the same level of sound quality, even though your money is clearly going into several other places like the batteries, charging case and internal amps, sensors and electronics, as well as a driver and shell. Now with the marriage of cheap but technically good drivers, equalization and now digital signal processing, we can anticipate the wireless earphone market and more generally the market for integrated amp electronics and physical driver audio products getting stronger. The user gets a complete package and little variability of experience on account of different and potentially unsuitable components in the chain. Around even $30 then, we can get a kind of reference level of sound quality with clarity, tonality and detail that emotionally moves the listener to such an extent it gets harder to justify spending any more, for sound quality reasons at least. So did I switch sides? Well, in a sense that out of the box the blonde 01s don't impress me. No, I didn't. But these baby blondes have potential and with some fairly significant EQ they become a really very good sounding earphone, performing well above what their bargain basement price would suggest. Now this is just a quick first listen prior to a fuller recordings video, so stay tuned for more. For now though, you all take care, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.